Hi, this is Joe Finn again. Another video. How are you? This is Monday and it's been raining in California. I can't believe it. It's June 4th and rain in the Bay Area. Insane. I've never had this before. Today's video is about um, three topics. Topic number one is what you're seeing on the screen today is uh, the result of uh, me using a new um, recording service and as new screen recording service here it is it's screenomatic.com and it looks really good i think i will definitely use this in the future for uh, videos when i want to talk about things on the screen it's um, very capable and a free account they upload the video to youtube for you it's just uh, very cool stuff Okay, so the second topic is negative SEO, negative SEO, and um, my friend Dan Waldrop um, is coming out with a WSO uh, day after tomorrow on Wednesday the 6th, where he is describing what negative SEO is, and he will give you an interview with a um, underground SEO expert that knows all about this stuff. It's a 40 minute um, interview audio and frankly it scared the um, scared me quite a lot because it seems to be very easy after Penguin. If you'll notice uh, the uh, webmaster guidelines from Google they actually changed the language quite a few times during the last year and they're finally admitting that negative SEO is a um, it, it's something that you can do to bump other people from uh, ranking in Google. So it's scary and it's here and probably here to stay and you should know what to do. So pay attention uh, to this WSO. Um, Dan also wrote a free preview of the uh, WSO which I'm giving you the link to underneath the video uh, and uh, you should definitely get this uh, PDF to read up about it and uh, at least know what's going on. So uh, that stuff's coming out on Wednesday. I think it's really important if you do SEO, if you are at all interested in ranking in Google, you should know this stuff. Uh, you should know how to protect yourself. You should know uh, what to do if this stuff happens to you. Um, the next thing is um, link indexing. So this is a uh, topic that keeps coming up repeatedly, time after time, every few um, months, or no, I'm sorry, every few days actually I'm getting at least a couple of emails um, about whether um, uh, we do this if i have a service uh, how to do it what to do and so on so first of all if you want to find um link indexing services your friend is google and the simple search link indexing service I hope you can see this link indexing service will get you a few and um, there is actually a service called Linklicious. Let me switch to that in a second. Okay, so I switched tabs to linklicious.me. Again, I'll put the resource underneath the video. This is one of the few services that is free, and um, you should uh, definitely use it. The free service is great. It's um, quite capable enough for. Um, if you create only a few links every day, this is going to be quite enough. And they, they have really good explanations of what to do and a comparison of uh, features between the various um, levels. As you can see, I mean, the free service is 2,500 links a day. That's pretty um, insane. And there are paid options for 10,000 links a day and 50,000 links a day. You can sign up with the um, uh, mother company of this uh, service. Uh, if you do that, you, you get to fill out this form. 
and then you'll um, uh, be um, going to um, get this kind of an email to confirm and then you can log in. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and log in and then we can continue. Okay, so now we're logged in and as you can see this is the interface. You can add links here. Um, it just allows you to create new projects and to dump links in here and, um, and to determine how many links get um, pushed each day. This is really um, pretty good. You can even um, integrate with third-party software if you have it. You can upgrade, downgrade. You can get custom domains for where the um, pinging is going. Uh, again, you, you need to read up on what the service does. It's, it's too much information for this short video. Anyway, that's um, a pretty good uh, service that is free. So I'm going to pause the video once more. And uh, now I, I brought up uh, the service that my done for you service for building backlinks is using. As you know, I have a done for you service for $55 a month where my virtual assistants VAs build uh, backlinks from four of my PR5 plus packets to your URLs each month. And um, as part of that service, it includes the use of nuclear link indexer uh, for free. There's no additional charge for that. And uh, this guy, uh, Kok Chun, he's a very well-known uh, Korean SEO expert. He's really, really good at what he does. He gets, uh, he gets about 80% of those backlinks indexed. And uh, if you want, you can get that service for yourself. It's not free, but it's very affordable and definitely worth doing. If you don't index your backlinks, of course, Google will not give you credit for them because it doesn't know they exist. Um, and um, so using one of those services, linklicious.me or nuclear link indexer is the, is the way to go. And I just wanted to say that um, based on some early uh, uh, questions that I sent to my list, um, you are on my list, so you've received that email in the past. I believe that I should create a service for my subscribers that will use both Linklicious and the nuclear link indexer. And uh, I, I don't exactly know how much it's going to cost, maybe a few dollars for a thousand links a month. And I believe that that's enough for most regular customers. Um, again, to preserve the value, we're going to have uh, a limited number of uh, customers able to buy the service and um, I think it will provide very good value because between the two services your backlinks will get indexed uh, very very fast and uh, so that's all for today look out for the email about the negative SEO which is a real big threat um, as more and more people find out about um, the ability of some people to do that to their competitors, there's going to be more and more marketers that in order to achieve a higher ranking, they'll not blink at bumping you from uh, page one if you finally achieve that. Um, my friend Dan Wardrobe has actually experienced that for one of his clients. And uh, I can tell you that it's a very uh, unpleasant experience because uh, you don't really know what's happening. So you need to read this PDF that I'm showing on the screen to find out how to find out whether this has happened to you. Okay, signing off. Today is Monday, June 4th. And uh, thank you for watching the video. I'll be back making more videos probably more screencasts like this one because this is very nice and um, 
I get to show you a lot of stuff. Thank you and see you in the next video.